Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. You are tuned in to the hottest vlog slash podcast on YouTube, Big Mike's Blog. I am your humble, beautiful, handsome host, Big Mike. Coming to you from my humble home, welcome. I want to thank you all for watching the vlog, um, to continue to watch it. As I've evolved again, like I said, I'm now going to be trying to stream this on podcast. So stay tuned because once I am uh, able to actually get this on podcast, I will send you guys have the link posted so you guys can check it out and subscribe and download and all that. And if you're not subscribed or ready to my podcast, please already please do so because it's a great podcast and I enjoy it. And I have a nice little cult following. So can, I want to keep that cult growing and continuing as well. So, um, so this topic today I'm going to discuss um is a topic that i have wrestled with discussing for about i would say a good couple years to about but recently for the past few months uh it's a topic that i don't really want to talk about because i feel i felt this topic ended last year but you know people out there continuously bring this topic up and debate it at nauseum so i have decided to dip my toes in this debate and i hope that with the knowledge that i provide in this debate that this debate will end once and for all. Let's hope so, because I'm tired of hearing about it. So the topic I'll be discussing today is the recently age-old debate right now of who is better, Michael Jordan or LeBron James. Yes, this is a sports vlog, people, so if you don't watch sports, you could probably watch my dating vlogs instead. <laughs> those of you who are interested, or those of you who watch sports, Stay tuned because I'm going to be dropping some nuggets of knowledge on you that you may or may not have already known. I will give my opinions on the matter, but not only will I give my opinions, I will also bring stats that will support or not support my argument depending on the way this goes. Because the beauty part about stats, people, is stats can support your argument the way you want it to support it. You could skew stats any way you want to support whatever argument that you may have. So if you want to, for example, if you want to go online and search um, why Donald Trump is the greatest president of all time, you could do a Google search of that and find stats to support your stupid argument if you want to make that argument. Or if you want to find something on why pineapples are terrible on pizza, for example, you could do that. So stats can be skewed in any way, shape or form, depending on how you do it. Now, for this debate... I decided to bring stats to the table because I know that people might bring things up like, oh, well, you know, what about these stats and what about this and all that. And I'm not a stats junkie. I'm not a stats guy. But for the purpose of this argument, I decided to bring stats to the table. I'm a real old school thinker when it comes to sports. I believe in wins and losses determine whether you're great or you're not as great. That's the way I see stats. That's why I see this way I see players. And I will talk also about the players separately. And give my two cents about them. Because again, I'm not saying whatever based off of my personal... I don't have any real bias. It's just more of my a little bit of opinion. Okay? So, first and foremost, let's have this debate. Because, you know, this debate has been going on for the better part of, uh, let's say, two or three years since LeBron won his third ring. We've been really bringing him into the forefront in terms of, is he better than Michael Jordan? Not if he's at Michael Jordan's level. We're not even talking about that anymore. We're talking about, is he right now better than Michael Jordan? And there are people out there. There are people. Not just millennials, because this isn't a... I mean, people say, oh, it's usually young kids. And to some degree, that's true. But I've seen grown-ass adults, okay, say that LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan. And they have statted me to death on why they feel this way. So... um, I have the, my stats here, but I'm going to go into why I just personally why my take. So I know you're wondering what I think. So at the end of the day, this is my personal opinion of just what I feel in terms of who's better. So personally, I will say that Michael Jordan, in my opinion, is the greatest basketball player of all time. And there's no debate about this. There are a few reasons why I say this. So I am a 34-year-old man, okay? Now, I have been lucky enough to have watched Michael Jordan in his prime and I've watched my LeBron James in his prime. So I've been able to watch both players in their prime. When I was a young kid and I watched Michael Jordan play, it was watching, I had never seen someone that dominant play 
NBA before, like basketball before, the way he just dominated games. And I mean, just, you know, the way he was so graceful on the court, the way he was able to score, the way he was able to defend, the way he was able to dunk and just, just the fear that he had, that he put in some, so many teams as well. Like that's something that I just, that mystique that he had, he has such a mystique about him on the court that was just amazing as a young kid. And I used to play basketball when I was in my younger years. So being able to see someone of that ilk play was just like, oh my God, you know, everyone wants to be Michael Jordan because Michael Jordan was the shit, excuse my French. Um, and then his shoes alone also too, like his shoes are so amazing and everyone wants to wear his shoes and, you know, everyone was like, I want to get the latest Jordan and all that stuff. So there was a lot of things that went into play with Michael Jordan in terms of back in the day of one of the reasons why I think he's great. You know, I watched the shrug game when he played against the Portland Trailblazers in 1992 and he dropped like, I think it was like 35 points in the first half and he just couldn't miss a shot. You know, I watched that game from beginning to end and I was just in awe. I watched the NBA Finals when he played against um, the Phoenix Suns, you know, um, and I was rooting, actually I was rooting against him that year because I wanted Charles Barkley to win because Charles Barkley was the MVP that year and I wanted Charles to get a ring, but unfortunately Jordan was just the man at that time. You know, I watched the flu game when, you know, and I'm actually wearing the, the Jordan flus right now. Hold on, I'll try to get them on my, there we go, see, I'm wearing the Jordan flu game, I'm wearing the Jordan flu games right now so you can see that I am wearing them. Um, you know, I watched that game from beginning to end, and I was just in awe of the way he was able to play, being as sick as he was apparently at that time, and being able to score so many points in that amount of time, and just, you know, it was just amazing to see. Um, I watched the last shot when he played against Utah in that last, in his last game as a Chicago Bull, you know. Um, his years in the Wizards, I really don't count, because those were comp almost like wasted years. Like, those years were just like, he was he was a shell of himself, and you could kind of tell. Um but Michael Jordan was still, like, the man, you know what I'm saying? Like, there was no debate about this for the longest time. Um, so that's, and then another reason why I rate Jordan the most is because um, I had the opportunity, and I was very fortunate to be able to do this. I was actually able to go to Chicago about three years ago. Um, going to Chicago again with my girlfriend in a few months. I'm looking forward to that. But I was able to go to Chicago in 2015, and I was actually able to go to the United Center and see the uh, statue of where Michael Jordan has a statue outside the United Center. And I, I walked 45 minutes, I, I shit you not, in the cold in October in Chicago just to walk there, just to see the statue and take pictures near it. And it was probably the most odd dropping thing just to see like because the statue is basically it's set up like him dunking and then around it it has all of his stats when he was in the nba like everything from his scoring titles to all defense to and you just you see it and i'm just i was in awe and i don't get in awe about a lot of things but to see all the stats and all the wrecking all the awards he had won i really didn't fully appreciate michael jordan like i appreciated him and i knew he was the that he was the goat but to see that statue and to see all those awards it made me respect him in an even higher light as terms of a basketball player it was probably one of the greatest things i've ever seen and that's kind of why i will always hold michael jordan to that regard personally now for lebron james okay lebron james an amazing player amazing player um 6'8", 250, 260-ish, can run like a deer. We have never, I've never seen an NBA player as big and strong as LeBron is that can move as fluidly as LeBron does. Like, I've never seen that before in an NBA player. Like, he is a once-in-a-generation type player, and when he's gone from the NBA, it's going to be kind of like a, a lull. The way when Jordan left, it will be a lull. When LeBron leaves, it's going to be a lull because it's going to be like, who's going to take up that mantle? Um... LeBron is great. You know, he's a great player. He has accolades and awards. He's done great things in this league. Um, you know, when I when I watched him in his first, I watched his first game when he played against the Sacramento Kings, and it was like must-see TV, and it was amazing. And LeBron is like the NBA. Like, my favorite LeBron years was when he was in Miami, actually. Those four years when he was in Miami were actually my favorite. That was when I really, really, really loved LeBron. Um not a little, not a big, huge fan of LeBron now because, you know, what he did to my Raptors, which I predicted. And I mean, if you want to see 
my uh, state of Toronto uh, vlog uh, that I posted. You'll see what I said about that. And uh, I can't again. And people are calling LeBron like Toronto LeBron. So I will not. I will not subject myself to do that. I will not say. I will not sully the name of this great city by saying that name. But I do understand people's sentiments about LeBron James and their feelings about how LeBron James dominates Toronto because it is true. But that's another vlog for another day that I could spend 10 hours talking about that. Um, and again, like LeBron's won titles. He's won the MVPs. Can't take nothing away from him. He's a great player and he will always be a great player. Now, the reason why I personally feel like this debate doesn't hold weight to me in terms of who's great is for the simple fact of this. Michael Jordan is 6-0 in the NBA Finals. LeBron James is 3-5 and five in the NBA Finals. And if he goes to the NBA Finals this year and loses this year, he will be 3-6 and six in NBA Finals. Now, I don't know about y'all, and I mean, if you guys want to stat me to death, the, the, the LeBron lovers will say, oh, well, you're just looking at Finals and that's all you're looking at. Nah, 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 there's more to it than that. You don't know basketball. Fine. At the end of the day, I go off of wins and losses. I don't go off excuses. When you go on the court, when you go on the field, when you play a game, when you play a sport, you leave it all on the line, you win, you lose, whatever. That's how I that's how I judge it. The reality of it is is that LeBron James at this present time, despite the fact that he's gone to eight straight finals and he'll probably go to another one this year, more than likely, unless Boston wins tonight, so we'll see what happens tonight in this series has a losing record in the NBA Finals. And if he goes to the Finals this year and loses, he'll be 3-6. and six. So to all you LeBron lovers, let me ask you this question, and then I'll go read the stats. Are you prepared, as an objective person, trying to be objective, are you prepared to sit here and say that a person who has gone to nine Finals is 3 and let's say six. Let's say hypothetically he's going to be three and six in the NBA Finals. Are you prepared to say that he is the greatest NBA player of all time with a losing record in the NBA Finals? Because if you're prepared to say that, I to me then it's just it's all about participation and stats then then let's just not bother with NBA Finals. Let's just go off of scoring and who can score the most points and all that crap then. Let's go off of that, okay? Let's just go off of that and done, okay? I'm not, and again, people are going to say, oh, you're just a LeBron hater, blah, blah, blah. No. I am strictly saying on the basketball court, if we're doing in totality in terms of athlete, in terms of social, LeBron James dwarfs Michael Jordan in that regard, bar none, hands down, because LeBron James gives money to charities. He is outspoken on social issues and i love that out and regardless of whatever you dislike lebron like lebron and he's given money to like people to go to scholarships for school and all that you cannot hate lebron on that regard he has been a model citizen in the nba he hasn't had any controversy the worst thing lebron james did that people want to hold him against that hold him that want to have a problem with him against and i personally didn't care was the decision when he decided to go to miami in the first place and beyond that there's nothing this man has done on the court, outside the court, that you could question in terms of being a negative thing, okay? So I'm not sitting here saying that LeBron is a terrible person, he's a piece of shit, and he's a terrible player. I'm not saying that. I am strictly saying that if we're comparing the two players, Michael Jordan, in my opinion, is way better. He's the greatest player of all time. And, whether, and the only way, in my opinion, that this debate will ever have any weight, in my opinion, and hold any weight to me, is if LeBron ends up having somehow miraculously gets a winning record in the NBA Finals. That's the only way. He has to win. Basically, he has to go 7-6 and six in the NBA Finals for me to even kind of considering, to consider relenting from my point. And if he doesn't do that, and, he can sit, and if he retires with a losing record in the NBA Finals, I don't want to hear anyone, anyone, tell me that he's better than Michael Jordan. Especially someone who's my age. Now, I'm not going to debate this with a 19-year-old or someone who's 20 years old because most of them have not watched Michael Jordan actually play unless they go on YouTube. They didn't watch Michael Jordan play. So to me, I don't feel like their argument is valid 
because they haven't fully watched Michael Jordan play. Just like I can't really say or speak to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or Wilt Chamberlain because I wasn't born when those guys played and the NBA was different then. And I again, I don't even like making this comparison also too because of eras. Michael Jordan played in an era where there was hand checking. There was the there was very there was a very intense game back in the day. You know, guys are getting clubbed and beat the beat the hell up and all kinds of crazy crap in the NBA. Now it's a more it's more can people consider it to be a lot softer, which it is. I don't hold that against LeBron because LeBron can't control the era that he played in. He can just control when he plays. But eras are different. So to me to make that comparison against the two is not fair. Plus they have to play two different positions and they're both asked to do different things. So I think that's kind of the biggest piece that problem that I have with this whole argument. So after saying all that, I will read stats. Okay, from uh what's that? I'm gonna I don't wanna take credit. So it's the land of basketball.com compiled the two stats between these two players. So I will read them out to you, the, the viewing public, and you can decide out there who you think is better. Because I've already said my piece on who I think is better. But I'll let you guys, I'll let you um, listen to the stats and then judge for yourself. So, NBA championships, like I mentioned before, LeBron James has three, Michael Jordan has six. NBA seasons played, right now LeBron is in his 15th. Jordan played 15 years. So obviously LeBron James is going to surpass Michael Jordan in seasons played. Playoff games played. LeBron James is, or playoffs played in, sorry. LeBron is currently playing in his 13th playoffs. Michael Jordan played in 13 playoff seasons. So obviously LeBron is going to pass that because he's going to play longer. All-star game appearances. Michael Jordan played in 14. LeBron James has played in 14. And obviously he'll surpass Jordan in that regard because he'll play longer. Season MVPs, LeBron James has four, Michael Jordan has five league MVPs. So could LeBron get another MVP? Who knows? We'll see. Finals MVP, this is a key. LeBron James has three, and the three that he's won, he's won finals MVP. Michael Jordan has won six. So every finals that Michael Jordan played in, he was the best player and he was voted MVP. NBA first team. So this is basically um, NBA first team is uh, basically you're the best player at your position and you're voted that way. LeBron James has 11. Michael Jordan has 10. So, Mike, so LeBron James has surpassed Jordan in that regard and rightfully so. He has been the best player at his position for the past 10 plus years. NBA first team. Oh, sorry. NBA, all NBA teams. So total selection. So LeBron has more. So LeBron has 13, Michael Jordan has 11. Uh, all defensive team, which is an important stat too because it shows to your versatility in terms of playing defense. LeBron James has five all defensive teams. Michael Jordan has nine. And LeBron is dipped in terms of defensive efficiency too. He's rated as one of the worst defenders in the league right now. He's at like 300 something in terms of defensive win shares, which Skip Bayless likes to bring up on his show. Um, defensive player of the year. Michael Jordan has one. LeBron James has zero. He has not won a Defensive Player of the Year award. Not one time. Scoring leader. So basically, when you've led the league in scoring. Michael Jordan has 10 of these awards. LeBron James has one. He's only led this league in scoring one time. Rookie of the Year. Well, obviously, he can only be a rookie once. They both won that award, so that award is valid. So, now here we get to the nitty-gritty. So these are regular season stats okay so points per game lebron james is 20 has 27 point 27 point 27.2 points per game michael jordan scored or averaged about 31 30.1 points per game so obviously michael jordan scored more points led more uh, um, had more in that regard rebounds per game lebron has more so lebron has 7.4 uh, points per game um jordan only had 6.2 so not that much of a difference uh, assists per game. LeBron averages about 7.2 points assists per game. Michael Jordan averages about 5.3 assists per game. Okay. Uh, steals per game. LeBron is at about 1.6 a game. Jordan is at about 2.3 per game. Blocks per game is basically the same, both at a 0 0.8. So that, you know, that's a wash. So total stats. So, so far, total career stats we're talking about here. So total points... 
LeBron James is at 31,038 points right now. Michael Jordan is at uh, 32,292 points right now. Uh, LeBron will more than likely pass this in the next few years. So, okay. Total rebounds. LeBron James has about 8,415 total rebounds, whereas Michael Jordan only has about 6,672 rebounds per game. Okay. So LeBron definitely dwarfs him in that regard. And he'll probably continue because he'll play longer. Uh, total assists. Uh, LeBron James has 8,208, whereas Michael Jordan only has 5,633. That makes sense because the stats per game uh, with the, the assists per game makes that make sense. Total steals. This one was kind of shocking, actually. LeBron has 1,865 steals at this current time. Michael Jordan has two has 2,514 steals, career steals. That's pretty impressed. I didn't even realize that stat. That was a crazy stat. Uh, total blocks. LeBron will pass this. So LeBron is at 888 total blocks. Uh, Michael Jordan is at 833. So just five off the pace for LeBron. He'll probably pass that in the next year. And people will probably post it on their Instagram. Uh, total games. LeBron obviously has more. LeBron has played in 1,143 games. Michael Jordan only played in 1,072 games. Okay. Uh, percentage, field goal percentage uh, for the careers. Um, LeBron's total field goal percentage is at 504. Uh, Michael Jordan's is at 400 and, or sorry, yeah, is at uh, 0.497. So LeBron has a higher field goal percentage. Three-point percentage, LeBron has a, like a 34%, three-point, 30, uh, sorry, a 34, four, three, four, four, uh, field goal percentage, and, Le and Michael Jordan has a, 30, what is it, 302, or 32 percent, three point, three, three, eh, what is it, sorry, three point percentage, so LeBron has a little bit of a higher three, uh, percentage, uh, free throw percentage, which LeBron is, this has been one of LeBron's uh, bugaboos, he's only shooting 73 percent from the free throw line, Michael Jordan is shooting about eight, shot about 83 percent from the free throw line, so it's a little bit of a difference, so, um, their best seasons now, so now we're going to go best seasons, so points per game, LeBron's best season, he averaged 31.6 points per game, and that was in 2006. Michael Jordan averaged 37.1 points per game in his best season in 1987. Rebounds per game, that was in, uh, LeBron averaged about 8.6 in 2018. Uh, Michael Jordan averaged uh, 8 uh, rebounds a game in 1989. Assists per game. Uh, Michael Jordan averaged, uh, sorry, LeBron James averaged 9.1 uh, a game in 2000 last year, or actually this year, sorry. Um, and the rebounds were this year as well. Uh, Michael Jordan in 1989 averaged about eight. So LeBron averaged more uh, steals per game. LeBron James averaged 2.2 .2 in 2005. Michael Jordan averaged 3.2 in 1988. Um, and blocks per game, Michael, I guess, averaged like a slight point percentage ahead. Uh, by like five percentage points at uh let's see so playoff stats so let's go with playoff stats because this is going to be a big kicker right here for me so playoff stats um stats per game points per game so currently right now lebron james averages in the playoffs 28.7 points per game michael jordan's career average is 33.4 okay um both rebounds and assists, LeBron averages more. So rebounds, LeBron averages 8.9 to Jordan's 6.4. And assists is 7, 7 assists a game to Jordan's 5, or 6, roughly, if you want to round up. Uh, steals per game, Michael averages more by a little bit of a percentage point. And blocks per game, Le LeBron averages a little bit more. So total stats. Um, let's go with total stats. So total points at this present time. Oh, sorry, hold on. So, hold on, because I'm confused. So, yeah, so that's for the playoffs. So, playoff-wise, I guess George, LeBron has more playoff. I guess that's kind of weird. So, those last stats, I'm not even going to bother reading because I'm kind of confused by those. But as you can see, I could stat you to death, which I'm not going to do, people. Um, because, again, these are these are the stats right here. And, again, they're on from landofbasketball.com. I'm sure there are many um, statisticians and bloggists and everybody who have 
pulled stats to generate whatever they want to talk about. So in terms of their opinion on, on this matter, so feel free to check it out. So those are the stats right there I read to you. Um, those stats don't really, didn't really, when I read them, didn't really change my opinion or my view. They're just very interesting. So they give context. Um, but again, my stance is still the same. Michael Jordan's still the greatest. And I have a trump card. No pun intended to Donald Trump. I'm not trying to give him clout. But my trump card is this, okay? And I'm going to play you guys something that will end this debate once and for all, okay? Now, LeBron is great, okay? LeBron has had many commercials. And I watched some of his commercials. He had, like, commercials with Bernie Mac and all that. But to all you LeBron lovers and people who think that Jordan, LeBron is better than Jordan, I ask you this. Did LeBron ever have a song made for him? I don't think so. But Michael Jordan did. And this is how it goes. Sometimes I dream that he is me. You got to see that's how I dream to me. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. I dream I grew. I dream I grew like Mike. That's right, people. That is right. Okay. So at the end of the day, LeBron does not have a song called Be Like LeBron, but there's a song called Be Like Mike. And I used to watch that commercial as a young kid wanting to be like Michael Jordan. So I challenge all you LeBron lovers, if you can make a song as catchy as that and play it and send it to me, I'll still not change my mind, but I'll still, I'll give it a listen. But at the end of the day, that is my final argument to this. Michael Jordan is the greatest ever because he had the greatest commercial and song ever. Be like Mike. That's amazing. I love that shit. So anyway, this debate is over. I am tired of talking about this. I hope that I settled this debate once and for all and it's never, ever, ever talked about on sports radio or vlogs or on Facebook or on Instagram or in barbershops or anywhere. It's over because I just said it and it's done. <laughs> no plan. Uh, it'll probably be talked about later. But um, I am hope that uh, I decide to put my two cents in it. I hope I will never have to talk about this again unless someone asks me to clarify anything. I will gladly clarify it. Um, and that is it. So I'm done talking for today, but I am glad and I'm happy that you guys watched this vlog. I thank you from the bottom of my heart to all the people who support this vlog. Thank you. I love you all. Keep supporting. Tell your friends, tell your friends to tell a friend and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about this lovely vlog that I do on a regular basis. I'm trying to do it regularly. I'm probably going to do another new vlog in a little bit as well. So stay tuned. Keep posted. Keep, you know, so keep smiling, everyone. Okay. Let's keep positive vibes out there. Enough of all this negativity. Um, before I fin end this vlog, I want to send my heartfelt condolences to the people in Santa Fe, t in Texas, um, with that massacre that happened with the high school shooting. Uh, my prayers and thoughts are with you and your loved ones and your families. I hope that uh, you guys can heal from this tragedy, and I hope that uh, brighter days are ahead. Okay. Um, and on that note, I am signing off. But before I do, I will leave you all with a parting gift. And all the LeBron lovers... And the Jordan haters are going to just hate this. But I don't care because it's my vlog. Peace! Sometimes I dream that he is me. You got to see that's how I dream to be.